new video. So as you can see, we are in Iceland. We're in the national park at the minute. We've just pulled up and we're gonna do a bit of sightseeing today. We're gonna try and do the golden circle. So I'm filming on my phone, so I hope it looks okay and the audio is okay because I had a bit of a camera issue. But yeah, this is actually our third day. Yeah, this is our like third day in Iceland. But we just had a whirlwind of a first day. And then yesterday was also really jam-packed with stuff. Basically, I picked the car up, drove into Reykjavik and jumped straight on a Northern Lights tour. And we literally, for tea, we had two polos each. <laughs> Which is funny, but at the time we were just starving and we didn't end up seeing the Northern Lights, which was such a shame. It was so disappointing, but it's a national, a national, it's a natural phenomenon. So, you know, it can't be helped. We didn't manage to see them this time, but it was still good because our tour guide told us lots of little stories. He's born and bred Icelandic and he was telling us lots of stories on the drive so he was good wasn't he we liked him yeah, if um you listen to the calm app or what's the other one that's or headspace. headspace yeah we always listen to the sleep stories before bed yeah his stories were like listening to a real life calm story it was so relaxing listening to his hmm. stories about where he grew up in Iceland and his life on the farm and his first time seeing the Northern Lights and all this stuff. So that was really nice. Um, so yeah, we did that and I think we got into bed on that night at 1am. About half one. About half one. And then yesterday we got up and we went to the Laxness, Laxness Horse Farm and that was just in incredible i just loved every single second of that and we ended up being the only two that were booked onto that morning tour so we basically it was just us two and our guides so we had basically a private hack through iceland which was just a dream for me like it's the first time that i'd been back in the saddle for i think we said something like 12 years and it was Grant's first time riding ever. So it was just so magical. I just loved it. And you were really good. You enjoyed it too, didn't you? Yeah, but I was a little bit sore. A bit sore. <laughs> the wrong well, after we, went, after we did the horse riding, we went to the Sky Lagoon, which is a geothermal pool, geothermal spa. But it's perched right on the edge of the North Atlantic Ocean. So it's just, it's essentially, it's similar to the Blue Lagoon, which is really popular here in Iceland. I'm sure lots of people have heard of that one. But it's relatively new and we thought we'd try it because it is perched right on the edge of the ocean. It's got like a infinity pool type area yeah. that looks out of the ocean. Um, and that was just oh, such a good afternoon as well. Just because the landscape is so rugged and volatile and then you're just sat in this like hot thermal pool with like a glass of fizz and a beer and yeah that was just amazing as well wasn't it it was so cool so yeah my camera has had a bit of a minute and doesn't want to work nope. right now so yeah, I'm going to insert the footage that I did manage to get yesterday. I'll insert that now.
Just nipped into the supermarket and next to all the Nutella and chocolate there's this which is like Milky Way it's like a Milky Way spread Mars, Twix and even a Bounty spread how crazy is that? oh I love the look of all of these cans as well oh, they feel pretty I what flavour that is So you will have just seen the footage that we did manage to get yesterday and we also went to the Hard Rock Cafe in Reykjavik last night which was delicious, that was really nice, yeah and we walked down the main shopping street and we also saw the church at night which was beautiful, lots of little Christmas trees, oh my god I was going to say decorations and we started saying trees, I said like decorations. And now we're at the National Park, we're at the start of the Golden Circle Tour, so we're going to go and have a look around. Wrap up, it's cold. Yeah, wrap up, it's very cold. Today I've got on, my mum actually made this for me. <laughs> How cute is that? My mum actually made this jumper that I have on today. I think it's, um, I think it is completely made of wool. So I'm so toasty right now. I actually need to get out of the box <laughs> We just got up to the first viewpoint and oh my gosh, look at that. How beautiful is that? There's a couple of little houses down there that are right almost on the water. So So here is where we're heading to the Oxara Foss waterfall. Definitely said that wrong. <laughs> here we are, made it to the waterfall. 
Wow, it's so powerful. I hope you can hear me. So we just finished up at the waterfall. Just there behind us. We were just saying that this kind of section of this hike anyway reminds us so much of New Zealand just because of the landscape. It's yeah. cool, isn't it? Near like, it's near Milford Sound. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that area. So now we're gonna hike back to the car and go on to the next stop of the Golden Circle route. Just got to our second stop on the Golden Circle route, which is the geysers. It stinks like sulfur over here, which is... Well, it smells because of the sulfur. So if you can see behind me, there's all this coming out of the ground. We're going to go and head up and hopefully see the geyser. Geyser? Geyser? I keep forgetting how to say it, the geyser. See it explode. I think that this is the main one. Struck <laughs> Got a great Icelandic accent, Greg. Can you say it again? Can you say it again? Oh, flipping heck. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> oh my gosh, Crumpled. My hair is so crazy and my cheeks are like... It is cold outside! My hair's gone like so crazy because I've got hot hair. And it's been wet and in a bubble. <laughs> Just been to see the geyser, which was really cool. Um, and it erupted twice. Yeah, uh, erupted? Is that the right word? Erupted? It erupted twice. Like one after the other. And the first time it did it, I like jumped out of my skin. <laughs> now we're gonna carry on to our next stop on our little golden circle tour, which is the Gullfoss Waterfall. Just driven into a hailstorm. <laughs> Just heading down to the lower viewing platform. The temperature has definitely dropped so much. On the way up here, we drove through the snow storm. And now, you can definitely tell like the air is so icy cold. It's like I'm going to take some pictures, but it's so cold, my hands are just like freezing. <laughs> Okay, so we were up there. We just come down to the lower viewing platform. I hope you can hear me because it's so windy. But you can see just over here where it's just snowed a bit of the snow flurry is stuck. It's incredible. It's so so huge. The camera light just can't even pick up how big it actually is.
So we've just arrived at, I don't know, how, how do you pronounce this place? Friedheimer, Friedheimer I think. We've just arrived at Friedheimer and this is basically a tomato farm that is powered by geothermal water and green energy to basically be able to grow tomatoes all year round. And all of the produce that's here on the menu is grown and harvested right here. And you basically sit in the greenhouse to eat lunch. And it's so nice and warm in here. Thank you. So Grant has gone for a tomato beer. How is it? Taste, just tastes like beer. Oh, it just tastes like beer. It doesn't taste any tomato here. It's nice. <laughs> I just well, well it. Yeah. yeah. That's made from tomatoes. And you can see behind Grant, like we're literally sat in the greenhouse. And then over there is the buffet of the fresh tomato soup and fresh homemade bread. So we're both going to go in and have some of that. But this is just the perfect thing to do after spending all day exploring outside. I'm gonna go get some nice hot homemade soup and bread and then have a wander around in here, I think. So you can see on the menus, tomato soup, fresh pasta, mussels, and then they even have tomato ice cream. <laughs> Everything tomato. We've even got a little tomato plant on our table. There we go, Grant's getting his soup. Oh my gosh, look at all this bread, it looks so good. Oh, it's got cheese on it too. Yes. This looks amazing. Oh my gosh, so they have these bees to pollinate. And I think she said that these come in from the Netherlands. But apart from that, everything else is done right here in this huge greenhouse. So we've just finished up and left Friedheimer. Um, I love how they include tea and coffee everywhere. It's such a nice little touch. So we've just got some hot drinks and we are on our way to our last stop of our little golden circle tour, which is the Kerid crater so it was sunset technically was about four minutes ago and the sun's definitely dropped down past the horizon so we're gonna um, just stop off there and see if there's enough daylight to go and have a look but we're heading back in to Reykjavik now we just got to our last stop today which is the Kerid crater which is just discovered the grey in his hair <laughs> a lot more than he thought oh dear oh my gosh it's, oh my gosh it is exhilarating being up there wow it's amazing isn't it but it is thing about coming anywhere at this time of day though there are no tour buses here I think there's maybe a couple of photographers here getting the last bit of light <sighs> oh yeah there's one guy up there <laughs> oh it's so beautiful 
Hi everyone and welcome to day four in Reykjavik, Iceland and it is our last day today. So we've just got um, back from breakfast, we've just packed everything up, got ready and we're ready to go. So this is my Iceland outfit of the day today. I've got my big chunky knit hat on, big beanie, I think this one's from H&M. Um, I've got big hoodie on again, I think this one is H&M. And then just underneath I've got base layer, just a cotton vest top and then a cotton roll neck top and then my hoodie. Um, we're just walking around and exploring a bit of Reykjavik today so we don't need to be too wrapped up. And then I've got my faux leather furry lined leggings on and big old boots as well. So yeah, we're pretty much ready to go in and uh, check out and explore a bit of Reykjavik now. I also realised that I haven't done a room tour yet so I thought I'd just quickly show you around the room that we're staying in and we are at the Midgarda, Midgarda by Centre Hotels but it's such a good location, the breakfast has been great and there are actually some spa thermal pools here that we haven't had a chance to go to but they are here as well so come in here at the front door and then we've got bathroom and I love the tiles in here I love these tiles where they're kind of the same from the floor all the way up the walls so yeah I've got a nice shower nice big mirror in here so yeah this is our bathroom and then we've got storage up over here ironing board iron safe mini fridge full length mirror which is always good and lots of um coat hooks which have come in really handy with all of our big coats then we've got grant over here good morning grant good morning <laughs> ready to go we're all packed up but we have got a little workstation here and then a little seating area and oh <laughs> There we go. So the view out of our room is actually just of the courtyard, which is all the way down there, and the other blocks, but it's fine. We've not spent a particularly great amount of time in our room, so that for us doesn't really matter. Nice sky this morning though. Um, then over here we've got Bed, which has been super comfortable actually I've had a really good night's sleep every night in here more storage and TV which I always find it funny we were watching what we were watching last night ITV so yeah that is our room <laughs> run out of. Grant's run out of hairspray so he's been he's been very conscious about his hair haven't you <laughs> So yeah, that is our room. We're all ready to go and explore a bit of Reykjavik now. We can get some coffee. Yeah, coffee first point, need to. Yeah, we can go and check out, get some coffee. I also realised that I've not worn any makeup at all on this trip, which has been really nice. It's nice to just be fresh faced and yeah, feeling good. What do you think, Grant? Very Icelandic. Very Icelandic. Mm -hmm. You ready to go explore? Yeah. Yeah. Just save a little passenger locator. Yeah, I've done our passenger locator forms this morning. We're all packed up. So yeah, we're gonna go check out and explore a bit of Reykjavik. Just found the Christmas shop. Yay! <laughs> Look, Grant, Christmas countdown. Forty more days to go. And the North Pole Express. Oh, <gasps> letters for Santa. Oh look, there's Santa's boots. He's getting ready. Getting ready for Christmas, Grant. Oh my gosh, we just came into the little Christmas shop and found all the toy soldiers. Wow. Come 
so many cute decorations in here. Oh, and the little train. Oh my gosh, I love that there's so many gonks everywhere as well. This is Beth's first time trying a cinnamon bun. They're good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, wow. They're so good. Yeah. We are down by the harbour now and we've just popped into Herpa, which is the concert hall here in Reykjavik. And someone told me that it's worth just popping in here just for a wander around, but it really is. It's really interesting space. Hey everyone, so we had a bit of uh, time in Reykjavik. We had a few hours here and we found this museum that we thought would be um, interesting. So we've come to the Pathological Museum in Iceland. If you don't know what that is, look it up. <laughs> what do you think, Grant, so far? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, every mammal, every mammal in Iceland, apparently, um, there is a representation of all of them here. <laughs> we just come out and that was actually quite good. <laughs> it was just pretty funny, wasn't it? Yeah. But it was interesting. Yeah. It just goes to show that there is a museum for everything. <laughs> We're just going to have a look at the... Oh, there's a Joe in the Juice! Joe in the Juice. We're just going to have a look at the square now, head up via the city pond and go back to the food market, grab some lunch and then head off to the airport. Last stop on our little tour of Reykjavik today is the. How do you think you say this? Plemu Matov? I don't know, it's a food hall that also has a bus station on the other side. I'm gonna grab some food in here. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna grab some food. We both went for some pizza. We've got a margarita, classic, and this is how it looks inside here. So we got ours from Flatte, Flatte, something like that. Yeah, this pizza's really good, isn't it? Yum. We're back in the car now, and um, we're going to head off to the airport. So I'm going to end this video here, but I hope that you enjoyed watching. You want to say bye, bye? Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye. bye.